Hi, my name is Sally Duros and I'm here to talk to you about L3Cs and why you should send me to Minneapolis next week. L3Cs basically enable a certain kind of investment by uh, foundations. These are called program-related investments. Um, they've always been allowed, but as they were created under the uh, tax code years and years ago, they were not clearly uh, defined with a process and a, a vehicle like 501c3s were. Um, I think we all know what a 501c3 is. It's a nonprofit dedicated to doing what it uh, perceives to be the social good. Um, L3Cs will be the same thing. They will be like 501c3s. The difference is that they are businesses. And Okay, so how does investment in an L3C work? Basically, it's a tranche to investment, and the first layer of investment is taken on by a foundation. It could be a family foundation. It could be a large foundation. Um, it doesn't matter. It could be a group of family foundations. And they will invest money into the L3C to get it started. They will provide the seed capital. Now, they, in, in making the first investment, the foundations take on the greatest risk that their investment might be lost. However, given the fact that foundations typically invest through grants, which provide only a purpose return, and not a profit return, they're not really taking on any greater risks. They're taking on greater opportunity. The possibility that not only will their investment relate, um, result in a, in a profit in terms of purpose, but also a dollar profit. Um, OK, so you've heard me. I keep writing in Huffington Post about how L3Cs and newspapers might work together. And um, to, I think this is a really promising idea, and I know others who do too, basically because if you look at the record for newspapers in the last couple of decades, during the time when they could have really been making strides on the web, they were not, basically because their ownership was trying to extract value from the organization. Rather than investing in the people who worked at the newspapers, um, the business ownership was extracting value from the people who worked in the newsroom. Not to say that there wasn't any waste in the newsroom, not to say that there aren't any pro other problems with newspapers, but that was one of the major problems. I and others see the L3C as holding a lot of potential for newsrooms, basically because the stronger a newsroom is uh, oriented around its mission, the more power, the more time, the more energy the staff are allowed to work on meeting the mission. And um, I believe that a lot of the writing and the blogs, the news blogs that have appeared, are responding to a lack of coverage that was in newspapers. Um, so that's my first assumption. So the conversation in Minneapolis next week is going to be on a totally different level than most of what you've been hearing about newspapers in their future. It's going to be about how newspapers are governed at the very top, what kind of business will be running it, and how will that business be financed. The conference is called Economic Newsrooms. I mean, I'm sorry, Economic Models for Newsrooms. It's June 16th, and you can learn all about it on my blog. So all of this talk is about convincing you to donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty-five dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford to send me to Minneapolis next week. I really want to go. I want to keep reporting on L3Cs. Um, there will be further developments, I'm sure. That will be very interesting, and I could learn a lot more about it next week. And I'd like to keep bringing this information to you um, on this very exciting new investment tool.